Hey guys, Felipe here, bringing you the latest updates on my solo album. So right now, I have all the songs finished, all the arrangements are written. Bruno is working on the drum arrangements, which are, you know, different from what I did with uh, programmed drums. Uh, and he's playing real drums to the track, so we're doing a back and forth. He sends me his ideas and I give him my feedback. We do a Zoom call every now and then to discuss the ideas. Nossa, mas que bela canção romântica! Mal sabe os vagabundos que vai acontecer daqui a pouco. Eles estão achando que não vai acontecer nada. Essa é a é a nova. Aí eu tenho aqui vou soltar o. Que... Eu gostei desse negócio aqui, ó. Talvez daria pra brincar um pouco mais esse detalhe aqui, ó. Isso, Isso aqui, ó. Isso aqui tem, tem alguma coisinha ali que me chama atenção. É, então, eu, eu reparei nisso, mas eu deixei pra gente falar hoje mesmo. Você tá usando essa, aquela velha e boa quartinha semi-colcheia ali, né? É, isso. Aí, é, pra rolar isso aí, eu tenho que, que mudar o groove. Eu gosto da ideia. Eu só não sei se logo na apresentação inicial eu já faria isso. Porque esse riff ele volta depois. A gente poderia usar isso aí de novidade mais pro meio da música, porque essa música ela tem um flow, né? E eu procurei em nenhum momento interromper esse flow. O único Sim. momento que ele interrompe mais é quando desdobra tudo lá na parte do, do solo de guitarra. Então, pelo menos nesse começo, eu não compro essa ideia. Eu não, não digo nem que ela não precisa estar tá aí, entendeu? Mas eu não compro. Mas se ela aparecer aí e aparecer depois, aí depois eu compro. Aí eu posso Entendi. mudar o riff e fazer a rítmica, né? Isso. Fazer o sol. Sim, mas é. na, na bateria eu acho legal ter. Mesmo assim, mesmo sem estar tá comprado, eu acho legal ter, né? Sim. Na bateria. Parece que não, 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 não fica tão sincopado, né? Embora seja, né? And then, when he sends me his final arrangement, I go ahead and adjust and re-record whatever instruments need to be redone to adjust to what he's just done. In the meantime, Dalton is working on his guitar parts and sending me ideas for me to listen to as well. And I'm working on some details of the songs, which are not major changes or major arrangement decisions, more like fine tuning the arrangements, the phrases, the runs and the harmonies, just that final detail that every song needs. One other very exciting thing that happened lately is that I got, of course, the drums from Simon, you know, you know that from the last video, which by the way is still in Portuguese, but I'll work on uh, subtitles to it as well. Since the last time we spoke, I got my uh, solo from Brett Garcet, one of the greatest fusion guitar players of all times, and he agreed to uh, be a part of my album, and he did a solo which is just unbelievable, just mind-blowing. The taste and the phrasing and the tone and the technique and just, you know, the, the overall musicality. It's funny because in a very short time, in the solo, a great musician can express himself in a way that, you know, has his signature and you know it's him. And with Brett, that definitely happened. What also happened recently is that I have confirmation from two other guests that will play on the album. Actually, three other guests. Two are uh, from outside of Brazil, one drummer and one guitar player, and one is a Brazilian guitar player that will also play a solo on the album. I've also been in touch with the person that's gonna mix the album, Ross Roderick Borge from the UK. He's gonna be the mixing engineer, and we've already started doing some back and forth I've sent him my best demos for him to start working on and even though it's not the final files that he's gonna get for the mix, it helps me to know which direction I should go with the recordings. We've been discussing tone, guitar tone, and even like for a clean part, which guitar or which pickups sound better for each part and Russ has a very keen ear, he listens to the details and he's very involved with the songs and with the project. So it's been great to trade this, this information with him 
and have his feedback on what I'm doing is super important because I'm working mostly alone here in my studio and having all these people contributing to the music is just so important and makes the album so much better so much more uh, collaboration instead of just being me you know because of course it's my solo album and it's gonna be my name on the cover but I want it to be a collaboration I want it to be something that every musician brings something new and something fresh that I couldn't have thought of you know that's what I want when I call all these people, all these great musicians to play on the album. And let me tell you, man, these guys are some of my heroes for many, many, many years. And to have them on the album is just such a pleasure, such an honor. I feel like I'm almost not worthy of having these guys on my album. It's just so surreal to, you know, have these guys playing my music that I wrote, you know, as just a sensation that's so fulfilling you know and I have of course done great works I think in the past but when you're in the band you kind of share with everybody and at the same time you have to know how to listen and accept everybody's ideas in my album although I have all these people I make the final decision Dalton was here at my house many many times working with me on the songs but at the end of the day it's my decision whether, you know, I want to have that idea or not, or change it or not. And Dalton has been a super understanding partner in this process as well. Time to see the guys playing some snippets of the songs, which I know you guys love to see. Bruno did something very nice. While he was working on the songs, he just left the camera rolling all the time. So I have all this footage of the period he was working on the songs, including some very funny stuff, like, for example, when he gets mad, uh, if he makes a mistake and shouts very loudly, it's very funny to watch. So here's some of that. <laughs> Dalton has also been working on guitar parts, so here's some of Dalton to you. As I said before, uh, I'm doing it all by myself here and sometimes I don't remember to, you know, hit record, but I do have some footage of myself playing for you as well. One other great piece of news is that the album cover is done. I've worked again with my friend from Brazil but living in Portugal, Gustavo Sazis. He's an amazing artist and he's really a guy that goes deep in the concept. So I had this concept, the name of the album as well, and we discussed some ideas. I had already some idea of what I wanted to do with the album cover. And he nailed it and he actually surprised me a lot because uh, these days you see a lot of these Photoshop collages and album covers, which is fine. I like many of them, but Gustavo as a real artist, he surprised me big time and did something that is both a great work of art and at the same time is so clever and it has everything to do with me and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. And of course, you all must be wondering, 
uh, when will the album come out? And I have great, great news to you regarding that as well. In the coming days, I will be releasing the crowdfunding campaign for the album. I have prepared a bunch of perks and exclusive limited items and experiences for you guys to be a part of the album with me. I want you guys to be part of the process and so I came up with a series of perks that I'm very excited about and I think you guys are gonna love. So stay tuned for the coming days when I will finally announce the start of the crowdfunding campaign and I hope you guys like what you see and want to be a part of it with me. It's gonna mean the world to me. That's it guys. I'm super happy and super excited to bring you guys along for this journey, which is for me very, very fulfilling. It's, you know, a dream come true to have this album come to life. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share and all that. And I'll see you next time.